hey guys welcome back to my channel today we are going to learn the five fundamental shift that is happening to the ai industry right so clearly the five ai shift right that will really reshape the future in 2026 so we are almost at the last quarter of 2025 so this is going to be a very comprehensive guide on the new trends that will shape up in 2026 and how we all should be ready to comprehend and understand this shift okay so i have tried to decode the fundamental five ai shift that may happen in 2026 a basis my understanding basis my discussions with a lot of ai leaders a lot of vendors whether it's big fours or mckinsey's and gartner's of the world right so if you're planning a roadmap on what you really need to do as a leader or as an employee or as a startup founder i think this is the guide that you should be looking at okay so these aren't really theories right these are very practical recommendations they are actionable and something that you guys can actually do it so shift shift number one you know what's happening is uh, uh, really uh, is the biggest challenge uh, or the biggest shift rather that will happen is the regulatory enforcement see the biggest change that will happen is the eu ai act is is the final rollout is happening also in 2025 and 2026 right alongside there are a lot of new regulations in china in us especially like california bill that is going to come there are multiple states in the us each state is also going to come with their own regulations which is going to be uh, tightening the ai uh, space right so there will be high stake compliances in case if you do not follow there will be six percent penalty as well that will run crores or millions and billions right so penalties for non-compliance will be huge. So there's a great opportunity, market opportunity uh, to really build governance tools, uh, evaluation packages, auditing solutions. You know, there is a full blown course from my side on responsible AI. I think that's the place where you need to be uh, because, you know, verticals like finance, healthcare, which are high stake verticals, uh, these verticals would need a lot of compliances, right? and vertical expertise as well so for example firstly you need to have the domain and the industry in which you are in and there will be industry regulations as well so firstly that on top of it the ai regulations right so for example you know you cannot have your pi data inside of your ai tool right it it should be checked for bias hallucination uh toxicity security i think you might go and check out the salesforce new agent force hack right i think if you see most of these agents will need to undergo certain kind of uh, security checks as well as the regulators will now come haunting right the second shift is outcome based pricing what has happened largely uh, is uh, you know that we have uh, or rather what I have seen, you know, is there is a lot of deployment that has happened, which is horizontal, right? A lot of people are trying agents, they're using uh, co-pilot or they're using uh, so many other kind of agents, right? Bard or, or crew.ai, multi-agents, all of that. All of that is okay, but the CFOs and the business would now come to you with a clear ROI, right? So everybody is demanding a proof of ROI for the AI spent. The era of paying per user is ending because we need to do outcome based pricing. AI should be vertically led with AI agents handling the entire workflow. Business clearly wants a clear matrix. Did this act, this agent actually save money or time or has it got me new clients, new regions, new workspace? I mean, you know, now, this shift demands architectural changes and new success measurements, right? So all you folks who are uh, really, you know, getting into this AI space for the large enterprises, I think you should focus on outcome based pricing. The third shift is the red ocean competition. 
right? There are a lot of AI native companies which have been in stealth mode in 2024, 25, which will open up in 2026 and fiercely competing with the external, sorry, existing incumbent, right? You will see launching of a lot of full blown product, 10x faster with two or three people sitting somewhere, right? Your moat is the data that you have of your clients, of your business relationship that you have so that you get a kind of get the foot in the door but you must invest in agentic solutions for your most valuable workflow guys the point is simple you need to have some domain experts real domain expertise vertical expertise and something that your competition can't do one more thing is data right insight so work on that disrupts uh, the disruptors the new folks will be clearly coming at you right tangibly 10x they will try to give us more productive gains right so we are going to see a lot of competition for especially in the ai startup world right and the guys who will give more demonstration value with impressive technology will win the race the shift four on device ai and hybrid architecture right so technical maturation is accelerating especially with NPUs arriving in laptops and phones, right? So we are witnessing a fundamental architectural shift that will reshape of how applications will uh, get deployed, right? So from cloud flows to hybrid, the reason for this also is the financial cost, right? The costing of, of, the, of applications on the cloud is increasing day by day. So there will be a lot of uh, hybrid infrastructure that will be needed to deploy this AI, which is on-prem, uh, also to deal with privacy issues, the government sectors, a lot of sensitive matters would also require from cloud first to hybrid, right? Privacy first solutions, a lot of healthcare, a lot of uh, banking financial would need solutions which will be required to do on-prem solutions, right? And local agent capabilities, okay? So this is one of the major shift that I feel. And the last but not the least is market segmentation in two tire, right? Commodity AI and premium AI. Okay, so commodity AI would be fun, personal, accessible to large market, chat, GPT, BART, uh, NVIDIA, all of these are commodity, right? Consumer friendly, low cost, per seat costing. Um, it's filled with entertainment, uh, basic utility, all of this. But the premium AI would, would be expensive, deeply valuable, right? Very vertical, right? That could run multiple agents, agentic solution together, complex workflow, which uh, none of these small startups will be able to build, right? High value, low volume deployment, mission critical business functions. I think this is where the moat is, right? Uh, if you see, they, these are some of the places where functions, organizations, like think about an organization, a service company, which knows the end-to-end -end processes of the client. They've been doing application development for 10 years. They know the complexity of that process, right? They know the, the rules of the game, they know processes, they know the client, they know the value, they know the business, more importantly. Now, if that company builds an AI, that is where the premium AI, I think, will come into play. Because they would know not only the tech, but people, they'll have those people who understand that and processes. So if they build these deeply valuable tools running on these multi-agent solutions, that is where strategically it will be advantage for those companies and that will get superpower, right? Perhaps the only champions that is gonna win the mode. So these are the top five uh, solutions or, or rather trends that I'm seeing in 2026. I hope you like my video. In case if you like it, please share it to your friends uh, or colleagues who are working in companies, startups, founders, so on and so forth. Subscribe to my channel. Uh, there are hundreds of more videos coming on your way. Thank you, have a good day. Bye-bye.